Hi, good day viewers. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Based on the nation where you are. Today we'll be looking at the danger of unchecked curiosity. The danger of unchecked curiosity. And more of us is reading from Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. It says, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Our text in Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 8. Genesis chapter 3. Verse 1 to 8. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yet unto the woman, Yea, had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God did know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and, did, and he did eat. Verse 7 And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they saw fig leaves together and made themselves aprons, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hide themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees. Of the garden. Verse 16 to 19. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cause is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and tails shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. Verse 19. In the sweat of thy face, shall thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto the dust shall thou return. Yes, we see about the danger of unchecked curiosity. Curiosity is the eagerness to know or learn more about things. This is often done by asking questions, investigating, and exploring. This is natural to all humans. In the science world, curiosity is a catalyst that leads to a new scientific discovery. Herbert Einstein 
was said to have declared, I have nothing special talent. I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. However, there, there should be a set limit to one's curiosity depending on the situation. An unchecked curiosity could be dangerous even if had a standing instruction from God of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. God has said, He shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. In Genesis 3 verse 3 But Satan provoked her curiosity. She agreed with him and ate the forbidden food. Her husband, Adam, also ate. For this, they were driven out of the Garden of Eden, a place of happiness, to a world of hardship. As unchecked curiosity had negative repercussions in the days of old, so it is today. So, be careful of things that you are curious about, what you need to, what you don't have to. Be cautious and careful of your curiosity. It is natural instinct for every human, youth inclusive, to be curious. Many young, many youths are curious out of form and or out of feeling. The innocent young people are normally curious about new food to taste, new games to play, new places to visit new words to understand, new concepts to master, and so on. It is all about what to touch, taste, smell, learn, watch, listen, etc. Among other benefits, curiosity brings about knowledge and discoveries which re reduce uncertainties. However, some People get curious about things that would hurt them or damn their souls. As a young youth, our curiosity should be limited to understanding situations by asking questions and in some cases investigating only exploring things like smoking, consumption of alcohol, and drugs and indulging in immoral practices, courtism, etc. As to drugs, it is not good for people, young and old, who have hope of good things in this life and in eternity with God in heaven. We often see some people who are said to be so unfortunate in life because of their unpleasant situations may be due to the unchecked curiosity they are engaged in or they have gotten involved before. Some of them have ruined their personal, social and financial lives and consequently end up becoming stripe huge. Some have serious and Fatal head problems. Many of them, many of them end up in jail. Why cases of sudden untimely death are also common. At the end of, at the end, if there is no repentance, the individual ends up in hell fire. People, you have to. You have already gone deep into unchecked curiosity, or you are showing interest in bad behavior, attitude, some of which are mentioned above. You can replace yourself by giving your life to Christ. There is always the tendency to be curious.
in things, but endeavor to cautiously limit your curiosity to your spiritual development only in Christ. Academic excellence, success, and generally in good things of life. Some helpful tips to avoid unchecked curiosity. Being genuinely saved. In John chapter 3 verse 3. Fitting one's heart on God. In Psalm 57 verse 7. Regular studying the word of God. Meditatively and obeying all its instruction without sentiment. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Praying always in Luke chapter 18 verse 1. And preaching the gospel of Christ to sinners at all times. Be curious but take caution. What? Be curious but take caution whenever it is necessary. Yes. We have to go out there to preach to the whole world. They need the salvation message. In in, in Second Timothy chapter four, verse three. We need to tell them how he came to this world in the flesh as a son of God. He came to this world in the flesh to save us as sinners. Because in Romans chapter three, verse twenty two says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No man is born holy. We are born in sin. So we need repentance and salvation through Jesus Christ. And it's only in Jesus Christ that we can afford the salvation of true repentance. And I pray that the Lord will grant our true repentance in Jesus' name. Amen. Our dear Lord, we thank you for your word, sister. Thank you because I know you are God in heaven and there is no one like you. Oh Lord God, I pray and I ask that Lord God, help us to be careful and cautious of unchecked curiosity. Whatever thing that we are curious about, oh God, help us to take necessary caution and to be careful of our curiosity. So that it will not land our soul in hell. So that it will not land us in danger. That it will land us in jail. Oh God, help us to be your way. To meditate on your word day and night. To pray and seek your face in Jesus' name. Lord God, I pray that Lord God, you will help us in all our curiosity. Whatever thing that we are curious about. Oh God, help us. Let it be according to your will and according to your word. In Jesus' name, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Bye, viewers. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. God bless.